So let me know in the comments down below if you were aware of this. I had no idea, but apparently the Ottawa Senators are sending like a bunch of scout, like I'm talking three to five plus to a bunch of Montreal Canadiens games, keeping an eye on a couple players, but notably Josh Anderson. I had no idea about this. The first I'm hearing of it, let me know if you guys knew about this, but apparently, yeah, tons of send scouts and... I'm sure it's because of the holiday roster freeze, which is that you can't trade, waive, or assign players to the minors between December 19th and 29th because of Christmas and that type of thing. Um, but on November 29th, the last home game for the Habs, uh, until December 10th, the Sens sent five scouts to the Bell Center, which to me was just unheard of. And this picture was put out where you can see in the middle there, uh, Rob Murphy, Jim Clark, John Perpich, Mark Flood, and Steve Sterling, all from Ottawa, uh, beating every other team there. So clearly, they're super interested in somebody from the uh, Montreal Canadiens. And it's a very secret that everybody knows pretty much that it's Josh Anderson. That's the one that the Sens are super, super interested in. And hey, if you're a GM who you love big players... Uh, you're probably in love with Josh Anderson. He bangs, he crashes, he fights, he hits, he scores. I'm sure they're very, very interested in, as they mentioned, but I didn't know they were this interested where they're sending so many scouts to Habs games just to get a look. And I know it's 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 pretty customary for teams to send multiple scouts to go check out a player, but five in one game, and in a lot of other games, it's been three to five that is a lot for Josh Anderson. So I'm wondering what Pierre Dorian would be willing to give up for Josh Anderson in a trade because clearly they're very interested in him. And as we know, there probably is going to be multiple bidders for Josh Anderson, whether it's Edmonton, Calgary, Ottawa. There's a few teams who are definitely interested in this guy. He also popped up in possible trade rumors for a Brock Besser trade to Montreal yesterday. We talked about that. So, yes, I know there's quite a few Habs fans who would not want to let this guy go, even at the $5, five, $5 I wish, $5 million cap hit that he's at here. But sending everyone in the organization, short of the mascot, to go watch Josh Anderson, or if it's not him, somebody on the Montreal Canadiens, that's, that's pretty telling, honestly. And again, if it's that many scouts, then they must be interested in a few players from Ottawa. Like, it's probably also somebody like Hoffman or somebody like Monaghan who played junior in Ottawa. Also, maybe somebody like Dvorak, Dadanov. That, I mean, Dadanov, I guess it didn't really work out first time around for him in Ottawa, so probably not him. But they're probably interested in a few players there. And again, it's a divisional trade, which doesn't happen that often. You don't really see a lot of teams trade within the division but I've been seeing people in the comments saying oh it never happens that's not true like we see divisional trades happen pretty much every year so they do happen and it's very possible like just because they're in the same division doesn't mean they're not going to make a trade with each other if Ken Hughes turns on his phone and sees the best trade offer from Pierre Dorion he's going to take it like if if Pierre Dorion is willing to give Ryan Reynolds and plus four uh, Josh Anderson, I'm pretty sure Ken Hughes is going to take that, right? So you guys get what I mean. Like a good trade, it, it's not that, oh, it's not going to happen. Like don't shut the door on it. Ottawa is a viable option for this. And also keep in mind that Anderson still has term left on his contract. He's under team control for multiple years, which also probably makes teams more interested in him because they could get this guy and have him under team control for a few years, kind of like the Flames with Tyler Toffoli last year. And it's also worth mentioning that Jim Clark, who is the Senator's Director of Professional Scouting, has attended multiple games, which indicates that there's a strong possibility that this is getting more heated, this is getting more serious, and this is something that the Sens are definitely legitimately interested in. They're not just kind of poking around, they're definitely scouting here, and a hey, Cat's out of the bag. Most likely it's Josh Anderson and maybe another player or two. But we know that the Sens are coming out of a horrible slump that they had to start the season here. They're starting to play better, led by their captain, who's just been an absolute rhino lately. Brady Kachuk has been amazing. So them getting some extra help, especially with the injury to Josh Norris at the beginning of the season, we're seeing now how important that guy was to the Ottawa Senators. The guy like Josh Anderson, I could definitely 
Pierre Dorion drooling over a guy like that, seriously. Um, and hey, he made a bunch of huge moves in the offseason, but other than a couple of guys, like mostly thinking about Austin Watson, who you can't rely on every night to hit, fight, and score because he's not going to do all three. I think a guy like Josh Anderson, who you can rely on to put up between 15 and 20 goals per season, is definitely somebody of interest to Ottawa on, I would say, the third line, can maybe fill in on the second line, um, not as a fixture, but just temporarily, and he can play up and down the lineup. I definitely can absolutely see how that would be somebody of interest. And clearly, all the moves Ottawa's made, they don't want to be in rebuild mode anymore. They want to take it to the next level. So that's something of interest for them. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. As usual, you know I want to hear it. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.